Renewable energy is freedom, and freedom is the ability to enjoy life with minimal limitations. As a child, I lived in the woods, and I spent a lot of time in the mountains of New England where I gained a strong appreciation for the beauty and fragility of nature. As I grew older, I wanted to preserve that beauty for my children and grandchildren to enjoy. In the sixth grade, I was selected to represent my class at the first ever Earth Day in April of 1970. It was during that event that I gained a more acute awareness of what we were doing to ourselves. Most people would say that Earth Day is about protecting our planet. However, I look at Earth Day as a day to protect those who live on the planet, humanity. The Earth will be here no matter how polluted our air becomes. The Earth will be here no matter how acidic our rains become. The Earth will be here no matter how many polar bears die. The Earth will still be here even if humanity ceases to exist. Throughout my teenage years, the concerns about the consumption and usage of energy limited my freedom. In fact, it stole my freedom. It wasn't until I went to the university that I found a solution. The University of Massachusetts had assembled a wind energy research team, and I saw their wind turbine up on the hill, and it intrigued me. During my college years, I was lucky enough to have met and been inspired by two great professors, William Hieronymus and Frank Kaminsky, both fathers of modern wind energy in the United States. I was eventually able to get involved in the renewable energy research program that they were running, and I realized that wind and renewable energy were the answers to the problem that I had seen. After graduation, my devotion to renewable energy was tested. However, after I was offered a wind power job in California, I took it, even though I never thought that I'd move so far away from my friends and family. Over the next three decades, my belief in renewable energy paid off. I developed many renewable energy projects, including the largest wind energy project in the United States. Because of renewable energy, the air is cleaner. Even if oil supplies tighten up again, electric vehicles coupled with unlimited energy from renewables means no limitation to our freedom. Because of renewable energy, my children and my grandchildren have a brighter future.